Earth Australia has been using drones for uh, about a year and a half, specifically these larger drones. We use these for what's called validation. So we get the information from the satellite and to demonstrate that we've done the processing correctly, we go out with the drones, we look at the same piece of Earth and from that we can tell how well our processing is done and how good our products are and whether they're fit for purpose. Previously we've validated satellite data by walking instruments out over the field. This involved carrying a heavy backpack with an instrument that we'd be pointing at the ground. The drones make it a lot easier. We can just put heavy instruments on the drone. It does the survey in 10 to 15 minutes where we'd be walking for an hour. So the drones help us access landscapes such as coastal environments, estuaries, wetlands, forests, the tops of trees. They enable us to map new land surfaces that were previously inaccessible by foot. Our large drone can carry uh, large cameras, small cameras, it can carry LiDAR, magnetometers, multi-spectral sensors, and we can map the health of crops, we can look at how dense a canopy is, we can look at water, we can look at water quality, we can look at all kinds of things. Australians should feel proud of our calibration work in Australia because even though we don't have a satellite program currently, uh, we actually are a world leader in calibration across Australia. The drone work that we are currently doing, we're building a capacity to use drones and to uh, incorporate different sensors, different technology, uh, and it's only going to serve us well in the future.